A bit waster video, no long introduction, and I use an editor. I have a friend that runs a used car and motorcycle dealership here in town. I stopped by his shop for a completely different reason and saw this 2014 Kawasaki Vaquero sitting in his garage. The explanation was that it was dropped off a flatbed truck during repossession. My guess is they were using a sling and it slipped off. The damage was only to topside plastic and fenders and nothing below the waist, which supports the story that it was not a wreck and there does not appear to be any damage to the frame, engine, or chrome. My friend bought it at auction with a clean title about a year ago and stored it thinking he would make repairs and keep it or sell it. However, Kawasaki Vulcans don't retain that much value and he was looking at an ever-deepening hole. Long story short, a 2014 Kawasaki Vaquero with 1,800 miles and in need of a ton of new plastic. Let's have a look at the damage. First, we have this ding in the fender. Nothing down here. But then there is this trash right side saddlebag. This big dent in the rear fender and the spot on the seat definitely shows it was dropped upside down. The left side bag and the plastic cover on the bottom of the fender Got the tail light too. A subtle issue with the kickstand. See that protrusion at the bottom? It is supposed to hold the spring that retracts the stand, but it is bent upwards about 45 degrees. This spot on the tank, but again, nothing below the weight. The right side of the cowling, inside and out, and the inner frame were smashed, but the crash bars don't have a scratch. The cowling inner frame was bent bad enough that the handlebars were so limited that it could not be ridden, it just started. So first I removed the cowling so I could at least give it a test ride. Here it is with cowling removed and an inventory of the broken pieces. The bends in the frame look less significant than expected, but not worth the hassle for me to try to straighten. Here is my hardware organization using sandwich bags and post-it notes. And the saved pieces, not many. Actually, one of those storage covers has a slight little crack, so it gets replaced too. Now for the test drive. Everything operated fine for the short little drive I could take it on. Next step was to strip the rest of the parts to be replaced. Here is everything ready to take to the paint shop, the tank, fenders, and bags are all to be reworked.
cowling and a few other totally destroyed parts have been ordered. Also, I'm adding a luggage rack and a tour pack to our custom bagger. The luggage rack is from a place called Wombus, and the tour pack is a chopped aftermarket intended for an HD. The final touch will be a custom two-up seat and a backrest. <laughs> 